Hello, this is Wendy Moore from wendymoore.net and I wanted to show you how you can flip your Facebook profile over to the new timeline that you might have seen on other people's walls when you've been visiting their profile. Facebook is about to roll out the timeline so if you want to flip over early I'll show you how you can do it. Up here in your search bar just type in the word timeline and the first entry you'll see there is called introducing timeline. Click on that first entry and Facebook will load a page that explains more to you about the timeline, why they're doing it and they, they introduce it for you. What you need to look for is down in the bottom right hand corner you'll see a green button called get timeline. Once you click on the get timeline button your profile will flip over to the new look timeline. Now Facebook is going to roll this out anyway but if you do want to move your profile across to the timeline before they force it you can become familiar with it. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click on get timeline and you'll see what happens to my profile. You can see instantly there the, the look of my profile has changed. It, you can see that a few things have now been moved around on my timeline. In the top left hand corner there you'll see that it has my profile picture and there is this large area toward the top of the page which is where you can upload what's called a cover which is a large picture at the top of your timeline. You can also see at the top here it gives me seven days to preview my timeline before I make it public so that I can change any settings that I choose to because quite a bit of your timeline is customizable. If you look down all of your information is still there it's just moved things around slightly. And once you flip your profile over to the new timeline just take a little bit of time to navigate your, your way around the timeline and see where things are now placed. One of the biggest changes that you will see when we've gone over to the timeline is this adding of a cover which is a photograph at the top of your timeline. Now if you leave that blank then it will just show your profile picture in the left hand side but if you choose to load up a photo you can click on click on the arrow and Facebook loads up a window just suggesting the type of photo that you might like to load up and then click on OK and you have an option to choose from your existing photos that are already part of your Facebook profile or you can choose a photo to upload from your computer. So I'm going to choose a photo from my existing Facebook profile. So I'll click choose from photos and it loads up my recent uploads and I'm going to choose this one that I've just taken of Sambala, my cat surfing Facebook. And you can see it, it allows you to drag and reposition the cover. So I'm going to move it up so you can see that she's enjoying watching what we're doing on Facebook. And then I'm going to save the changes. And right away there you can see that the image is showing next to my profile photo. So if you're not happy you can change the cover just by clicking and you can upload another photo, you can remove it or you can reposition. If you're not happy with where it ended up you can just reposition it again and click on the save the changes. Now with the introduction of the timeline there are a number of changes to the overall look and feel so if you do have any questions feel free to pop on over to my Facebook page at Wendy Moore which is facebook.com forward slash Wendy Moore dot net or you can head on over to our blog www.wendymore.net So there you have it that's the new timeline as I said I'm Wendy Moore from wendymore.net. Bye bye for now.